And my name is Alyssa, and I am one of the dietitians at Illinois Valley Community Hospital. And I'm here today, I just want to talk to you a little bit about different replacers you can use to avoid common food allergies in your kitchen. So right now I'm coming you from coming to you from my home kitchen and I actually am a mom of a son that has five different food allergies. So I have become quite a pro at cooking while avoiding those different food allergies. So I just wanted to share some of my tips today with you all. These tips would also be um, good things that you could use if you are taking a step to go vegan, try and include more plant-based um, ingredients in your lifestyle. Um, and these things would also be things you could use if you ran out of ingredient at home and didn't have time to run to the grocery store because pretty much all of these ingredients are things that you probably have ha on hand already. So let's go ahead and get started. So my first um, food that I want to talk about is eggs. Um, so my son is highly allergic to eggs, so we have gotten quite accustomed to cooking and baking without eggs, and it's actually really, really easy. Um, so oftentimes, recipes, you can leave them out, and you wouldn't even know the difference. Um, just add a quarter cup of water in place of the eggs. Oftentimes, I do that if I am making pancakes. Um, my number one egg replacer if I'm baking is to do one tablespoon of vinegar and add into that one teaspoon of baking soda. Usually I'll take that and I'll mix it up and let it stand for you know a couple seconds and then I just add it to my um, recipe that I'm making um, and that I feel like gives the best product results. Um, you can also use aquafaba. So some of you may have never heard of aquafaba before, but aquafaba is just the liquid that is in your can of beans. Um, so if you have a can of chickpeas, you can just drain that juice off that's in the can of chickpeas and you can use that in in your recipes in replacement of eggs. So it's a really simple replacement and it also kind of cut backs on, cuts back on food waste a little bit, which is also a pro too, so that's good. Flax, egg, flax eggs are another um, substitute you can use for eggs. Also very, very easy, very, very healthy too. So all you would do is take a quarter cup of water, add in a tablespoon of flaxseed, and let that sit for um, a couple minutes, um, and it should start gelling up um, like an egg. Um, there's lots of other substitutes you can use for eggs too. So you can use pureed fruit, a quarter cup of pureed banana or applesauce is a substitute you can use for eggs in your recipes. Um, a quarter cup of tofu um, you can use as well. Um, and there's also lots of commercial egg replacers you can buy at the grocery store. Um, but I haven't found one that the ingredients seem all that great. Um, so I would prefer to use the ones that I've already listed um, to get something that's a little bit more more nutritious. Um, so that's all of my tips for recommend or tips for avoiding eggs in your kitchen. Uh, peanuts and tree nuts are another very common food allergy. Um, suggestions for what you could use in place of those is to use um, sunflower seeds or any kind of seeds in your recipes um, would be a um, good substitute that still offers a great um, benefit of nutrition. Um, we use a lot in our house um, sun butter, which is just sunflower seed spread. Um, it tastes really, really good. Um, it definitely doesn't taste like peanut butter, um, but it, it tastes like sunflower seeds. Um, but you can use it, you know, if a recipe for, I don't know, peanut butter cookies or something like that calls for one cup of peanut butter, you could just substitute in um, one cup of sun butter. Um, there's also wow butter that you can buy at the grocery stores too. Um, wow butter is made from soy, so if you do have a soy allergy or are avoiding soy, this would not be the substitute for you, um, but this is also a substitute you can use if you're just avoiding peanuts and tree nuts. Um, this is 100% peanut and tree nut free. Um, when it comes to substituting for milk, there is so many substitutes for milk any day, nowadays. Um, there's coconut milk, almond milk, flax milk, oat milk, peanut milk, um, you name it, there's probably a milk that comes from it. Um, what we like to buy in our household is this Bolt House Farm 
plant protein milk. Um, in this milk, they actually use um, peas to add a significant amount of protein in it. So you can see here there's 10 grams of protein in one cup of this milk, which is actually a tiny bit higher um, than when you would get in dairy milk. So most of your plant-based milks, minus soy milk and this milk, um, have almost zero um, grams of protein in it. So this is a good substitute so that you're still getting the protein that you would be lacking um, in those other milks or by avoiding milk entirely. So this you would just use in your recipe, cup per cup, however that's called. Just make sure that you're getting the um, original flavor or unsweetened so that you're not adding any funky flavor to your dishes that you're making. Um, if your recipe calls for buttermilk, it's so easy to make buttermilk on your own. All you would do is take one cup of the plant-based milk or what, almond milk, whatever milk you're using at home, and add one tablespoon of um, white vinegar, or you can use whatever vinegar you have on hand, really, um, and wait about five to 10 minutes. And oftentimes, um, in that amount of time, you'll see that it turns to the consistency similar to buttermilk. Um, and it's actually quite fun to watch. My kids love it, it's like a little <laughs> science experiment, but so easy um, to make that replacement um, and it's a lot healthier too. So that's a substitute you can use. Um, one thing that I do like to use um, if I'm making like mashed potatoes or something like that, um, I'll just substitute in um, a low sodium um, broth instead of um, adding any milk or butter to my mashed potatoes and I honestly think it tastes better um, than a lot of the other mashed potatoes. Um, that I've made at home. So that's an easy substitute that you can use too, um, is using the, the broth instead of milk in your mashed potatoes. Um, as far as other dairy-free substitutes that you can um, purchase at the grocery store, there is so many um, that you can buy. Um, lots of different brands. There's um, So Delicious. There's um, Daya. There is Kite Hill. Um, There's so many brands that you can get that are now producing um, dairy-free products. Um, the most important thing when you are buying any of those products, and this goes for the milk too, um, is to make sure you read the allergen statement that's listed on that product. Um, you want to make sure that they have strict allergen um, procedures that they're following in the factory to make sure that they are cleaning and testing the equipment before they make that product. Oftentimes these types of products do make multiple products. So for example, like silk milk has almond milk, soy milk, um, all different kinds of milks, and they use the same equipment for that. So if you have an almond allergy, then you need to make sure that they are cleaning that equipment and testing that equipment before they start making the um, soy milk or whatever it is that you're using. So just always make sure you're taking a peek at that. And that's important too because oftentimes those products will claim um, or they'll market the product as it's, you know, uh, plant-based product, um, but then you actually read the ingredients and you find that there is milk in there or there might be soy in there. Um, so just always make sure you're reading those um, in the allergen statements to make sure you know what you're getting um, to keep your family safe. Um, there's um, lots of different alternatives for yogurt. Um, there's coconut yogurt, um, almond milk yogurt, flax yogurt. Again, just make sure you take a peek at the sugar content um, and the vitamins that are in that. Um, and oftentimes they do add probiotics to these, so that's a plus too. Um, there is substitutes for cheese too. So I did mention um, Daya, there's veggie shreds. Um, so again, just read those labels really, really good. And I wouldn't recommend um, using these all the time. Just like the almond milk and some of the other milks, these really don't have any protein in them whatsoever, and they're highly processed um, foods. So I would use these as a um, kind of once in a while thing, not an everyday um, thing to be eating. Um, instead of butter in your recipes, again, there's lots of other um, products that you can use for that. So um, Smart Balance and Earth Balance are both butter spreads that you can buy at pretty much any grocery store um, that are 
dairy free um, and you can also substitute in you know oil in place of that or use your applesauce or banana um, to substitute that out too so there's lots of different things you can use um, to help avoid food allergens or to stay away from some of these products if you so choose um, at home so um, if any of you have any questions or feedback or any tips of things that you like to use um, feel free to comment or share or get a hold of me at the hospital. I do have a certification in food allergy nutrition. Um, so if you'd like to make an appointment, feel free to get a hold of someone at the hospital um, so that we can meet at some time too. So thanks so much for watching my videos and I hope you get a chance to try some of these tips. Bye.